Hi everyone, welcome back and thank you for watching another one of my grocery shopping haul videos. Hey Spirit Boosters, how you guys doing? Yep, it's me, Janita, back again with another video. And this time, I don't know, complaints, worry, concerns, earlier today, I, well, I hadn't heard from my son over in over a week, and I got real concerned about it. So I'm just calling him and calling him. He's not answering. His phone is saying no one's able to pick up. Then I hear a busy signal. So I sent an email. I don't get any response. So I'm really worrying. So what do I do? I go into prayer and I'm praying and praying and praying. Ask the guy to please have him contact me because I'm just wearing myself to death, to death. And yes, I'm talking about grown ass child, <laughs> grown ass man. I know some of you parents can't relate to how I feel. With your grown children you still feel responsible how of their well-being you just if you don't hear from them you start panicking and getting all concerned and worrying yourself to death it's not a good feeling but once you hear from them you can relax put your mind at ease and that's that <laughs> those kind of parents yes they exist because i'm one of them and i know i'm not alone but yep well anyway he finally called he said he'd been working on the second job and it's just kept him so busy so I had to tell him just please keep in touch because with all this craziness going on in this world I was thinking of all kind of stuff happening I'm thinking he perished from the COVID he's sick can't breathe and where he at nobody helping him and stuff my mind was just all over the place and then that's when I just keep on praying and praying god know i just word myself to death boy i'm telling you i'm just thinking everything from a to z had happened to him because i hadn't heard from him that i was so happy when he finally contacted me yep i'm sure a bunch of y'all can relate to that but anyway more stuff to share with y'all and as if y'all don't already know it's so many shortages don't y'all feel like midgets too? Excuse me for saying that. It's too many damn shortages going on. I'm so sick of all these shortages. But everyone is saying that. It's not going to be over anytime soon. Because they're going to be major non-deliveries. Lack of in, uh, workers to deliver the stuff. It's just going to be a shortage of everything from A to Z. I just watched a video not too long ago as why i'm showing you guys the instant non-fat dry milk container i guess you guys see my other little stuff up here that i'm going to talk about but yeah i just watched the lady's video and she shared there's a dairy shortage i'm like what the hell oh my god so i'm thinking well i better just i'm you know i'm just glad i have instant dry milk and I do have some instant heavy cream, instant butter, stuff like that. So, yeah, the lady was saying, excuse me. The lady was saying that um, there's going to be a dairy shortage because, I guess, labor shortages, uh, deliveries, the health of the cow, the animals, whatever. But it's going to be more shortages. Oh, don't you? Oh, it's just so much going on with all the people getting sick and then i heard on the news earlier too also they said and this now everybody damn know it i'm thinking <laughs> i know we share stuff on the internet and i know uh worldwide everybody is looking looking and listening you know but it's on the news and the news is everywhere <laughs> They shared today, they said, you guys better get your Christmas shop, your holiday shopping in early because things are going to be available by the time 
you know the season gets here season greetings get here so you better do it right now and then they're gonna throw in there's not gonna be a there's gonna be a turkey there's gonna be a turkey shortage i'm like what the hell a turkey shortage i you know i need me some turkey look at this this why i been, i'm trying to tell y'all y'all see this i got finally found me some chicken gravy in these little containers and i found some more turkey gravy so these things you know to be shared regularly but i'm glad i got some you know for the holidays and that's what i'm prepping too for some for my holiday goodies and therefore that's why you see the pumpkin and the cream of mushroom and i got um this big old 20 pound bag of my my had my rice but anyway yeah that took me back when i heard on the news <laughs> they said get your holiday shopping done now that everybody in that goddamn mama know that shit y'all talking about panic buying Shit, they go it gonna be a stampede and they're gonna race right straight to the damn fresh meats cooler right with them damn fresh turkeys if you can find them i haven't been able to locate a fresh turkey yet no so i don't know we don't have turkey i guess i have to dress up a chicken and that ain't gonna be pleasing i want a damn turkey like everybody else so anyway yeah so they're all on the news advertising this spreading the damn news talking about ain't gonna y'all better get your holiday shopping in and ain't gonna be no turkey the turkey shortage and all that and then they what they gonna say next in the paper shortage paper products toilet paper paper towel they was throwing in stuff i was like damn that's why i say don't you feel like a midget all these damn shortages this is too much then on top of it they all on the news sharing all this shit now, i didn't seen it on the youtube videos but they don't i'm saying they ain't gonna get too far on the, on the youtube video but now it's all on the news so everybody named mama out the story do you know check this out walmart i was checking walmart out trying to see what's going on and everything what they got do you know well in my area it ain't like I was getting my, it's not like it used to be when I used to get an order a couple of weeks ago. Like if I didn't want it like today, I would get it the next day early in the morning. That ain't happening no more. You got to put that shit in real early now. Because the next day, they their time is way 2, 3 o'clock or unavailable. And you got to go to another day. It's so much going on. It's no more Walmart is busy as hell. You can't get your well in my area, in my case, we're on, on my at my Walmart. These folks got Walmart the online delivery ordering, grocery ordering tied up. It is hard and difficult to try and get a early or the next day or the same day delivery anymore. It's a mess out here. It's a mess. And I ain't even out there. My husband, he want me to get out there. Well, you know, I got my balcony. I get some sunshine, but he won't take me out. And I said, okay, fine. But I ain't trying to get it's so much sickness out there. I don't know how people do. I know people got to go to work and all that kind of stuff. But it's dangerous as hell out there. People still dying. And I'm I'm just checking things out on TV. Folks just out there. Some folks ain't got no mask on. Folks fighting folks that ain't got no mask on. It's just crazy. And that's thus I was concerned by my son because so much going on in this world. I thought he was under attack. Just like I did the same thing by my daughter. When she don't answer her phone or she missing, I start worrying. I'm so tired of worrying too because they, they in their early 30s. Yes, they are. And I'm just worrying about them. <laughs> messing up my sleep. Oh, my God. That's the kind of mom I am. But anyway yeah so all these shortages going on so i don't know if you guys heard that about that on the news let me know because i know you've probably seen videos saying it on youtube but this is the first time today i heard them you know mentioning talking about do your holiday shopping early because no toys and whatever else people want on holiday is not going to be available now some videos i see some people's areas are stocked and they got plenty of this plenty of that but I don't know. By the time all this seriousness start happening, I guess some of them folks that's just lollydallying around in their grocery stores, 
looking all pleased and happy like the little munchkins and stuff all ran up in the store shopping all happy and everything because their store is fully packed and then can you imagine when they, when the shit hit the fan brother, they come back to the store and they ain't got shit to pick they ain't got them a slim pickers and then they be like damn i should have got my shit when it was full but they didn't believe but then all of a sudden it's all gone waited too long missed out they ain't got nothing to pick and choose over then you got to deal with granny and them partially disabled people flying around the store and them electric carts and shit man i'm telling you this and why i said Jenny, why you say partially disabled because okay example some of them they be on them carts like a lot of people need them carts the ones that can't really you know they have mobility problems but some of these people on these carts they just own it because they lazy or they might got an inch of a problem because you they'll see somebody standing right there they thinking they being observed so they'll give a little limp when they get off of the cart and go over there think you're not watching but some people they don't care if they obvious they're watching straight looking straight at your ass while you tiptoeing trying to get what you want off that shelf then get back on that damn scooter nothing wrong with you then you gotta watch out for all them kind of people up in the store it's just a mess you guys just make your head hurt but yeah i don't know how y'all dealing with all these damn shortages of information shortage this shortage that like i said when shit hit the fan some of these folks that got these beautifully stock packed stores with everything they all could ever want and you know taken for granted like the people that can't get shit took the state they just had the same idea of taking shit for granted didn't care everything was available right there for you to pick and choose now it's not it's gone now you wishing you had this and that boy it's a hot mess out in this world it's messed up oh my god but i just want to come in here and share with y'all my little pickings i had to give me some pumpkin because the pumpkin is too rich for me to use it as a pie by itself so what i do i mix it with yams or sweet potatoes and that balance it out and then it's not as rich and it doesn't irritate the stomach but so that's how i do that cream mushroom you know make a little dressing help that with the dressing but that dry milk yeah i'll just say it i'm glad i have it because if you're gonna have dairy shortages i need some milk to make my dang bread with and i don't have a problem using dry milk remember they used to come in the box y'all do they still have that milk in the box you got <laughs> you gotta be old to remember that shit come in that damn big ass box y'all remember that let me know in the comments but yeah you guys it is so much grief and struggle and worry and now the news has started a stampede panic because they mention and telling everybody get your shopping done early so early mean right now so in other words if you guys don't have what you need and you think you gonna wait and lolly down and and happy as a munchkin i feel well i don't feel shit for you because you're dumb you should have just i don't know you wasn't thinking you didn't give a damn you think everybody's crazy for buying all the food up some of she got all that damn food over there what's wrong with her what's her damn problem i ain't got no damn problem i got damn full ass belly when i need to be full that's a that ain't no damn problem that's a great solution i ain't mad at myself i'm happy that well you know the first way we had i was involved already making videos about you know stocking up and stuff so I still got stuff from last year and then carrying on with this year just adding on stuff that we ate off like regularly using the pantry and then you got your emergency stuff like I told y'all so you got emergency pantry and you got a regularly used pantry like you go in there and pick out food you're gonna eat for the day you can make meals and you don't have to well you know you're saving a lot of money this way too when you stock up so don't pay no attention to people making fun of you and saying why you buying all that you don't need all that blah 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 blah. they the fool you not the fool you just gotta be careful these days now because it's just so much going on in the street people sick i seen let me tell y'all something 
Oh, let me share this with y'all. But remember, I, I told you guys I had to expected one more delivery, which I got it. And the food man, it happened again. Hold up, hold up. No phone call to let me know the person was there so I can let them in the building. Hold up, you guys. I'm trying to move something over here. The man, he just, I don't know, somebody must have let him in. And like I told him when he got up here, the delivery person, I said, excuse me, sir. I would appreciate it if you had a called me to let me know you were here so I could get myself ready. You know, to come to the door and everything. And then, you know, that's easier on me. And instead of you just coming up here and about to leave that package and not let me know my package out here because I don't want nobody taking my damn package, you know. It's not like the perfect neighborhood. Well, neighbors and people, this is just not the neighbors just come through here. They Strangers come up in this building too. And they might not show any respect and take folks stuff. So I need you to let me know, you know, announce yourself and let me know you're here. When I said that to that fool, he gave me a look like, that was brand new, never heard of news before in his life. He just looked at me with the oddest look like, like I ain't never heard of that before. Is that what I'm supposed to do? That's in my job description? He was like, he was so sad. I was just shaking my damn head. I said, is this for real? Is this person really looking at me like this? Like I'm saying something wrong to him? But anyway, this is the life of me. And my damn deliveries. I'm so happy. So right now, I don't have a... Wait a minute. I got something coming from Amazon. What I got from Amazon? I got... Uh, what do I got from Amazon? I forgot what I got. I got something coming from Amazon. Oh, yeah. I ordered a memory card from Amazon. Amazon all screwed up too, you guys, with their delivery. Stuff that usually take the next day to come or the same day. Shit, it's taking two days now. Well, it's taking more. It's been more than two days. They had a date time. It was two days at first. Now they turn into five days later. I still ain't forgot my package. So that's different too. All these delivery, uh, uh, online gross, uh, um, serve online grocery orders and stuff like that. It's um online orders. Everybody, I guess, is is stampeding, racing, charging to get what they need. It is worldwide panic, you guys. So if you guys didn't get what you need earlier, it's going to be difficult in trying to try and find and get what you need now. Because people ain't playing now. They tying up everything. The service for delivery all tied up. They don't. It's not on time like it used to be, like I'm explaining you guys. But look, I got me some spreadable honey here. That, uh... I'm going to use on my toast sparingly. I'm just sharing that with y'all. Spreadable, honey. But yeah, so I just want to share these little things with you guys. Something okay. What else I was trying to tell y'all? Oh, wait. What's that? I was looking at somebody else's video, you guys. I'm going to say this and I'm going to get off here. This man on this guy's video, he was sharing a video about this man in the hospital. He's sick and from, from the COVID, right? And some other man that was anti-COVID, he wanted to, um, he was telling him, get out of here, get out of here, come home and die at home and stuff. Boy, that was so crazy. And then the man said, follow up about the situation, said the guy, he did go back to the hospital and now he in a coma. I don't know what's wrong with these people. I think that's the side effects of COVID. Got people just going plumb crazy. I don't know why he was he was bothering him so bad. That poor man was in the hospital already getting oxygen. And why the other man, I don't think that was his child. That was some friend or some, some friend, huh? Trying to get him out of the hospital. Talking about die at home. What the hell? Suffer at home. Why he want to do all that? Now he in the hospital in a coma. Man, it is so many people and comas from this mess going on oh i've been like i don't know if i shared or not but i wasn't feeling so good the other day when i was having them damn glitches this is what i need to tell y'all 
yeah glitches all on my damn channel i couldn't even leave y'all respond to y'all comments it wouldn't let me leave a comment for nothing i went to uh not only my channel but i went to other folks channel to try to comment and it wouldn't let me comment it stayed like that for a while then finally well i prayed on that shoot i prayed on it i prayed on it then all of a sudden i could comment again in glitches I keep uh, subscribing and then I'm unsubscribed. If, especially if I leave a comment after I subscribe, it'll unsubscribe me if I leave comments. If I just comment and don't leave, if I just comment and don't subscribe, then the comment is stay. It's just weird. I don't know why. I don't know if y'all being affected by all these glitches or not. And then uh, people that have less than a thousand subs commercials all on their channel i don't know if y'all noticing all this stuff it's just weird stuff going on it's just all weird it's so much weirdness going on it's just too weird for me but anyway i know i've shared a lot and flipped and flopped all through this video but i hope that i did share my little haul here with you guys but i'm about to get off here because yeah i was trying to tell y'all i hadn't been feeling good and i'm telling myself it must be the dang virus or i don't know because i usually if, like, i don't know i'll pray i just pray and then i start feeling better i just go in there and lay down drink some water and lay down my arm i'm up here about to drop this dang camera but i've been just drinking water and laying down watching tv watching y'all videos and stuff everybody got a channel whatever but now I feel better than I did yesterday because I was real sick yesterday. I'm like, oh, shit. I don't even want to go take no tests because if I forget a test and I say, oh, you got the, the, the virus, then my mind really going to go freak out. And then I'm going to think everything crazy and think I got this and that going on and that ain't going on. Y'all like that? <laughs> I'll be like a hyper, what is a hypochondriac. I'll have every symptom there he is from, from the virus. And that ain't even going on. But anyway yeah so i'm gonna get off here i've said enough and probably too much but um yeah so check out do your research but it's so it's too many damn shorts just just call me a midget over here shit but anyway y'all just respond in the comment section join the conversation tell me what's the goings on going on in your area all right later y'all i hope this grocery haul was a pleasure to watch and i hope it helped you guys remember something that you might have forgot to get from the store once again thanks for watching